a lot of these guys you work with, are they guys you still talk to? You still shoot an email? You still shoot a text? I mean, is it, do you become friends with any of them? Or are you sort of one, a guy that works, does the job, mostly just moves on, and you don't really become friends with a lot of people you work with? No, I'm uh, from Starship Troopers. Uh, Pat, Patrick Muldoon, who was the guy that got his brain sucked out. Oh, I know. Red Dream. Um, he, uh, he and I were friends before Starship Troopers. We've done like four or five movies together. He came to my wedding. I was married five years ago uh, to my now wife, my beautiful wife, um, and he was in my wedding party. And then Ed Newmeyer, who was the writer of Starship Troopers, was in my wedding party. And then Garrett Warren, who's the stunt coordinator on Alita Battle Angel and Starship Troopers and Logan. And, you know, he's done all these other things and Avatar and all those things. He was my he was in there, too, in my wedding party. So those are wow. three guys from Starship Troopers there. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I work out. I was working when I was living in L.A. I was still working out with Jake Busey. And uh, he's a him. character, isn't he? Is he he's, a lot of fun? He's a character. He's a lot of fun. So I, yeah, and Dina Meyer I see all the time at cons, and uh, I'm going to see Michael Ironside and Dina up in uh, in uh, Monster Palooza in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm seeing them next in, next month. Wow, so do that. So that'll be fun. You know, I still get to see it, and I love Michael Ironside. I mean, I I hear his voice all the time when I'm acting still to this day. So. You know what's funny is I had a bad experience with Michael Ironside, and I talk about it no. on the podcast, but like they, it went viral, and it wasn't like I didn't say I didn't like the guy. I just I I thought he didn't like me. I thought he was a little mean or a little bit like, and maybe he was just playing that character. I don't know. So it yeah. it blew up into this thing like I hate him. I don't hate him. I don't think he's a bad actor. I think he's a good actor. It you know, and it was just like it didn't really blow up, did it, Ryan? I mean, a little bit, but but well, it's gonna I'm blow sure. up now. It's gonna blow up now. No, it's but I, 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 it's Michael not that Van I Dean like, defends Michael Ironside against Michael. <laughs> I, it was just a first impression. That's all it was. So I have no real evidence you know, of you of, know a lot that a lot of people have said to me. They go, "He's terrifying," and uh, and he yeah. does play a good terrifying person, and he does have a personality that you know if he's uh, if he's. If he was angry, I, I wouldn't want to be on that dark side of him or, and you know, I have no idea what, you know, what, what your experience was with him. But when I worked with him, he was a, he was a mentor for me and he gave me, you know, he, he was always there. He's very positive, very supportive. So I had an incredible experience working with him. I had an absolutely incredible experience. With and him. I love that. I, I'm telling you, this experience wasn't even like working with, it was just like he was on set. And it was just interaction, and I it just made me feel kind of uncomfortable. And it, nothing he did, he just it just was a moment where he's like, "Oh, this guy, you're this guy, huh?" And, that, and he that, kind that of could sized me up, and I was like, "Jesus, man!" And it kind of made me feel like shit. But I don't think he was. Now that I think of it, I think he was just like being a dude. And but it just was weird. It just was weird. And I was like, so. It was a little thing, but I, but, but Tom, who was on the show, loved him. Everybody else, he, I'm sure he's a great guy. It was just a one time moment. You know, he, it's, like I said, he was just a mentor for me. So he was, he was great for me, but I do understand that because he can, he, he is, uh, he's intimidating. He, yeah. He's extremely intimidating. That's it. He's a little he, intimidating. He's very intimidating. And, and he can also, you know, you know, if you, uh, yeah, if 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 you felt something, you know, I I don't doubt that there was something, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure, <laughs> and it could yeah. be, you know, whatever somebody goes through on the day. Because I've had experiences with people too, where they're like, God, I love that person. And I've been like, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's funny is I guarantee if somebody said to Michael about this, he'd go, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't even know this guy. I don't. I didn't work with him. I don't even remember. Where. That's probably what he'd say. What is he? What, what is he talking about? Yeah, well, he I, probably won't even remember. Not. He wouldn't remember. But it's funny how. You remember, like if you have a moment with somebody and it's just brief, like maybe I met a fan. I was just like, hey, I don't, I don't have time right now. He's like, oh, man, he was kind of like kind of a dick. And I, I wasn't meaning to be. It could be taken you know, different ways. And like your legacy could be, you know. Yeah. You know, people, people, you know, I have two ex-wives, so I know I'm not popular to some people. <laughs> so I know, you know, I, I, I know, I know, I am not a popular man there at all. I, I know that. You know, that's not something that's you know, and and rightfully so. I deserve it. I don't mind. Um, I know I have a a great current wife, and and, and I'm and she loves me. Thank God. Um, you know, Good. I haven't blown that one yet. So there no. you go. <laughs> You're doing great. 